Hello Taurus and welcome to the Marvelous Enlightenment channel. I am Marv and we are going to go ahead and take a look at your Libra season through three card lesson for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy Leo Libra season. I apologize. If you're interested in taking a look at what the energy was last month in Virgo season um, at the end of the video, um, it will be, um, it should come up on the card or you should see that pent down in the description. Go and take a look to see if what your energy was. But Lord, let's go ahead and get started. Let's set the card placement up for you. Uh-oh. Um, this is a lesson. The first card is going to represent a lesson that is evident, but is not that has not yet been embraced, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, and it's very, very interesting that what is looking back at me at love, I commit to the practice of sin the good in all things not necessarily the easiest thing to do there is a person place a thing in your life that has left a bad taste in your mouth when it has come down to love um things that has been done and blamed on love um and you questioning your feelings about these people places or things as it pertains to do i really love x y and z you you fill in the blanks and I know that this is hard because there is a practice of giving, benefit, the, giving the benefit of the doubt. And it's hard to give that benefit when you feel like someone is doing you wrong. So that is definitely something that you know you should do, but you have not yet embraced because you're not ready to, okay? Present energy, whether you're aware of it or not, ah, is to surrender. I can release my need to control. You don't want to release the need to control because the, the releasing the need, the, the need to control is not necessarily around or about the other person is about yourself. You feel like I can't worry about everybody else, but I can worry about me. So if I just throw my hands up and surrender, then I feels like I feel like people are walking all over me or I am uh, being taken for a fool. And that's not something that you can do to a bull, period, point blank. Um, so there is a need to want to control so you can create a cushion or a soft place to land in case you need to fall from grace or fall from something, metaphorically speaking. And um, But Spirit is advising that it's time to surrender and throw your hands up. I don't think it's about controlling the other party. Um, I think Taurus Collective, um, this is all about understanding that you can't change the things that are out of your control and you're being guided to surrender to the whole thing rather than to worry about a need to control or surrendering it's just like you know what i'm done i can't fight this battle i can't control the person i can't control the outcome and that is what i am showing okay and finally the last card is going to be a long range lesson now with the long range lesson taurus it can apply to this situation right here or it can be an ultimate life lesson what do we have this is for taurus and we have indecision i use all i use my intuition in all aspects of my life um you are struggling to surrender to love this is a specific person now um this isn't a thing this is a person without me knowing the rest of these energies um i did not want to just automatically say but there's an individual and you don't know you don't want to surrender because if you surrender, then you accept the fact that it may not go the way that you want it to go, but you're being guided to use your intuition and allow your intuition to guide you on the thing. If this is a person, you cannot um, control it. You cannot control them. You just have to allow yourself to go along for the ride, for the process, because you're being guided to be um, and fully embrace yourself in the journey and not so much as um, attach yourself to an outcome towards collective. So again, um, the indecision is completely surrounded around surrendering to love. And that is what we are having a very hard time to do or to embrace. OK, so you know that you have to love, um, but ultimately you have to use your intuition to get you in um it's to allow yourself to embrace 
what needs to come your way as far as this relationship, this significant relationship. Intuitively, I am feeling it is huge. It is a very, very significant life-changing um, opportunity or relationship, okay? Um, so surrender to love is, um, um, and follow your intuition, surrender to love, surrender to the process of falling in love, the journey of love, and not necessarily focusing on the outcome, whether it's going to work or not. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much if you are watching this on TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram. And stay tuned because because this is Libra season and it is the season of balance and reconciliation. And I'm feeling extra cute because I am a Libra rising. We are going to have a three card lesson in love and that will be coming soon. Bye, Taurus.